So when you talk about Stanley Cup winner Noel Picard, he didn't uh, receive uh, his highest accolades uh, in the Montreal system, but when he moved on to expansion of St. Louis Blues for three consecutive seasons, he allowed the Blues to be very competitive in the regular season, and he went out three Stanley Cup playoff runs, twice losing to Montreal, once to Boston. But a very, very sturdy defenseman in a lot of ways. Now, he became uh, the major prominence in the early 1960s with a whole bunch of time with some quality squads. Now, he played with the Peter O'Peets in 1960, with the Jersey Larks of the AHL in 61, and then uh, with the uh, Quebec- Montreal Olympics Quebec senior team that went on an Allen Cup run that year where he had 8 points in 15 games. Now, in 63, he was with the Sherbrooke Castors of the Quebec Senior League, with the Omaha Knights of the CPHL in 64, before making the big club, the Montreal Canadiens. Now, Montreal uh, had him high under radar from an early start because at 6'1", 180, he gave a little bit of more durability to uh, uh, to uh, their system. But he later became... Uh, a key to St. Louis's defense. Now, if you look back at the tapes when Boston played St. Louis, the famous overtime games, Picard was the player that tripped Bobby Orr to allow him to uh, conduct that great celebration after the goal. And that shot with, uh, has gone on in NHL history is probably one of the most important uh, incidents, uh, positive incidents in pro hockey history. But without Noel Picard tripping Bobby Orr, uh, you wouldn't have to photo. So thank you, Noel Picard, because without you uh, getting St. Louis to the, to the final, playing Boston, being durable, extending the game to overtime, you were the guy that anchored the defense and what else are you going to do? You're going to do anything you could to stop Bobby Orr from scoring. And even after scoring, you were doing your job. So for me, that's a very important part. Because we forget, ladies and gentlemen, uh, great celebratory events, there's always a background uh, behind it. And uh, I would expect, if Noel Picard had five cents for every time he uh, he signed uh, that photo, he'd be a millionaire 40 times o- over. Now, unfortunately, uh, uh, he uh, passed away uh, three years ago at the age of 78, but in retirement he was quite, quite busy. He was a broadcaster for Blues Games after he retired. And he also purchased a, uh, uh, a restaurant called Midway in Cuba, Missouri in 1976. A, and he f- uh, finished off his, uh, his retirement years in Montreal where he was involved in various uh, uh, you know, uh, charitable efforts. I, I heard he would uh, show up and help out with different events, uh, which I'm not surprised because I heard he was a very amiable guy. Now, uh, uh, Picard was the... Uh, younger brother of uh, Roger Picard, who pr- briefly played with St. Louis for uh, one season. So it runs, uh, the, uh, the uh, talent runs deep in the family. So best season for, uh, for, uh, uh, for Noel, again, in my opinion, was that 69 season where he received uh, the second Stanley Cup final berth. He had 24 points in 67 games. Um, he played a full 16 games, actually in the 70 playoffs, after uh, a season that was uh, held back by injuries quite a bit. And he always had uh, uh, certain problems with injuries in his career. And he finished off his career in Atlanta, kind of stabilizing that young team. And I think the reason he made the 74 playoffs is because uh, Picard showed the Flames exactly what it took to use a stay-home defenseman to uh, get the points needed to make the playoffs. So overall, a very interesting career. But I still uh, look back at that, uh, that picture and I said, well, you know, that's, that's another Montreal Canadiens prospect that he, uh, he let go away. I think at one point there was nine former Blues playing with the uh, former Canadians playing with St. Louis, eight or nine, similar to uh, the Dallas Stars uh, later on. Uh, Montreal was very helpful with expansion teams. As long as you send kid the Canadians a number one draft pick, they're going to give you players. No joke intended. So that's the, uh, the legend of Noel Picard. Thanks for listening. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Any feedback is more than welcome. And we're doing a a series of uh, new Podrad requests this week. So keep an ear out, keep an eye out, and keep on listening. Thank you. Bye.